Welcome. We're live from BC Children's Hospital here for the 25th annual Miracle Weekend. Absolutely, and we are here until tomorrow afternoon to take your donations to help this hospital, which serves families all over the province. Yeah. Live from Vancouver, it's the 25th Annual Miracle Weekend for BC Children's Hospital. Russ Onger from Scotiabank, and you have a big team with you. Tell me about your team. Uh, our team's uh, right across from our retail group with our uh, private client group, our commercial group. So all aspects of the uh, bank are involved. So. And you, uh, you've all been hard at work raising uh, money for Children's Hospital. Tell me about that. Uh, absolutely. It's, uh, it's been a grassroots uh, level for, for the bank. It's our number one charity when uh, voted amongst our uh, staff. And we've done a number of things this year, including softball, uh, some pub nights, and a lot of uh, various events at the branch. And you've been supporting Children's Hospital for how many years now? I believe uh, for the last 25 years. So it's a pretty important cause for you. Absolutely. It's the uh, number one uh, charity voted on by our staff. Okay, so. we've got a future broadcaster here, I see. Because yeah, it's Britta. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, let's see how you guys did. You want to reveal the check? Okay, what do we have here? $160,000. That's a job well done. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Year after year, Scotiabank employees choose to support BC Children's Hospital, raising more than $3.4 million since Miracle Weekend began 25 years ago. Thank you, Scotiabank. We're outside again, and this is uh, more banks, and this is uh, a, the very special. Everything's very special, but uh, this is the bank's division. Alex Fan, hello there, Alex. Hi. Did we do this last year? Yes, you we did. I, I think you and I did. I was out here last year with you, and this uh, this is a big group, not just one bank, but seven, is it? That's right. We have TD, Royal, Bank of Montreal, Scotia, CIBC, HSBC, and Canadian Western Bank. Excellent. And you all came together, and not everyone from every bank is here, but a big representation from the seven banks. Tell me a little bit quickly about how you raised the money, and then we'll turn over the check. We do uh, employee donation, client uh, donation, uh, barbecue, Raffle ticket sales, uh, Saturn auction, uh, gin stay, and a lot of like slow pitch, lots of activity. Everything you do goes toward BC Children's in this scenario here. Well, it's not a check actually. It's uh, some the youth here, the kids. They're going to turn over the numbers all at once, Alex. And I'll leave it to you to tell me the total. All right. So the total is. Here we go. Whoa. Two point two four two seven zero seven million dollars. Whoa. Let me see that again really quickly. $2,242,707 from the Banks Division. Thank you, everyone. Wow. Time now to meet uh, the next folks on our Miracle Makers panel. And we have a group of financial institutions with us today. Right down at the end, we have Russ Onger, who's a financial consultant with Scotia Private Client Group, and he sits on BC Children's Hospital Foundation's Banks Committee. You can give him a call if you would like to donate. 604-333-5440 is his number. Next to Russ is Jacqueline Poissant. Jacqueline is a regional VP, retail sales and marketing at Canadian Western Bank. She is also on the Foundation's Banks Committee, and this is her second year on the panel. Give Jacqueline a call at 333 5441. Atuza Farzanshed is the general manager, East Vancouver and Central Burnaby for CIBC Imperial Service and Business Banking. And this is Atusa's first year on the panel. And her number is 333-5442. Corrine Schindler is a mortgage specialist with RBC. You can call her at 333-5443. Next up is Jackie Crux, who's a human resources counselor for BC Northern Interior and Yukon at TD Bank, and she's been with us for three years. You can support Jackie at 333-5444. Next up is Garth Stoll, VP of Commercial Real Estate with HSBC. Garth has been a long-standing volunteer. He's been on the Banks Committee for many years. Give him a call at 333-5445. You're sensing a theme here. Jennifer Minch is Vice President of the Vancouver District with the Bank of Montreal. She is also a 
returning panelist at the Miracle Weekend, and you can call her at 333-5446. And right next to me, he just conveniently picked up the phone. Alex Fan is a district vice president at CIBC and chair of the bank's committee at the foundation. And his daughter was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at children seven years ago. So he has some firsthand knowledge of the great work they do here. Alex, thank you very much for coming back for so many years. I thank you for having me. So tell us what the bank's committee is exactly. Well, you know, the uh, banks usually were very competitive out there, but uh, working for children uh, of this great province, uh, all big five, TD, CIBC, Royal, Bank of uh, Montreal and Scotia Bank, plus HSBC and uh, Canadian Western Bank, the seven banks together were also very competitive in uh, raising funds for our children in this uh, uh, great province of BC. The great things you can do when, when we work together, right? Absolutely. We try to outdo each other in fundraising as well. Okay, so, and, and that works out well for BC Children. So how much have you guys raised? Uh, our target is $2.3 million, and I believe we can do that. Uh, well, you know, just keep coming, calling us, and uh, we should be able to reach that target. That's incredible. How much did you raise this year? I personally raised about $200,000. Just yourself? Yes. That's incredible. All right, so you obviously have first-hand account, uh, first-hand knowledge of the great work they do here. So, Alex, do you want to send out a, a challenge to all of your, your fellow, your colleagues within the financial industry? Absolutely. Please, there are all seven banks here, and call the, the person that represents your bank, and uh, let's raise some, uh, some more fun for, for the kids. Alex, thank you very much, and thanks to everyone on the, the Banks Committee right now. You and Ted have been doing some nice decorating, Simran, on your microphones. Did you do that? Yes. Is, how is Ted's uh, artistic ability with those streamers? Well. Oh, well, she says. It's pretty good. It looks good. I like it. You've added a certain <laughs> style to the telethon this year. <laughs> well, you know, there are kids right now here at the hospital who are in their beds right now. They can't play like we're doing right now. They can't go out and ride their bikes and, and hang out with their friends because they're just too sick. And you, Simran, you know what that feels like. Yeah, it was when I was in the hospital, I just, I was sitting in the bed and I couldn't do anything. Like, my friends couldn't come over and I couldn't go outside and I couldn't play soccer, yeah. which I love to do. And, yeah. Well, we're so happy that you are, are healthy and energetic now. And it's thanks to people like you who've donated in the past 25 years to help find treatments for diseases like childhood cancer. So for kids like Simran and 840 kids who received treatment for cancer last year right here at Children's Hospital, please give us a call and make a donation now. Call 310-BCCH, and that's 310-2224. Toll free from anywhere in BC. You know, I think you might have a future here in this business, Simran. <laughs> well, during this 25th anniversary of Miracle Weekend, we're celebrating the memories of the families who've been to Children's Hospital. And the milestones reached by the hospital's dedicated caregivers. And most of all, the miracles that happen here all the time. Did you know that last year, 228 open heart surgeries were performed at BC Children's Hospital? 52% of those were on patients younger than a year old. Can you imagine that? Doctors operating on those tiny infants where hearts are the size of a walnut. The incredible work that the caregivers do at BC Children's Hospital cannot help and help happen rather without your support. You might have a healthy child like I do or a grandchild, but you never know when that child might need BC Children's Hospital. So if you've been just thinking about making a donation while watching us, why not do something about it? Give our TELUS phone bank a call right now. You'll feel great knowing you're helping BC re researchers find cures and providing caregivers here the tools they need to help sick kids get better. Call 310-BCCH. That's 310-2224, toll free, or you can go to miracleweekend.com. We thank you. The major banks of BC know that there's strength in numbers. That's why they work together to support BC Children's Hospital. Over the past 25 years, the banks have raised over $35 million for the hospital. I guess they have a big calculator to count all this money. All the funds go towards hospital equipment and research. It adds up to a lot of help for sick children. There are seven major banks in the group, but there's always room for more. Thanks, banks! Oh, I believe in miracles. Without a hesitation, I believe in miracles. 
We believe in miracles. I think miracles do happen, yes. I do believe in miracles. I see them all the time. I believe in miracles. Jaden is a miracle. She's a miracle. My daughter Sienna is a miracle. She's our miracle. I think I'm a miracle. I'm a miracle because I had a kidney transplant. I am a miracle. I believe in miracles. I truly believe in miracles because I've seen them. I am a miracle because I love everybody here at Children's Hospital. Thank you. Total let's get to the total. Let's get to the total. Let's see. Miracle weekend coming to a close, and let's see what a weekend it's been. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> eight, eight, six, nine, three, nine, seven. Thank you very much, British Columbia. We could not have done this without all of your help. Thank you very much. Now stay tuned for the news hour and Global National on Global BC.